Greetings and welcome to LearnToCook.com. My name is Chef Michael Zima and I am happy to be with you today. Uh, today's segment we're going to uh, talk about and demonstrate how to make a brown sauce. Um, so what we're, we're doing is we're heating up our butter um, and again I'm going to be using uh, equal parts of butter and flour. Uh, initially what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add our mirepoix and again, that's onions, carrots, celery, uh, and our sachet. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll saute those vegetables. And we want to get them nice and caramelized. This is a brown sauce. Now, we're going to put this tomato product into the mirepoix. I know also in making brown sauces over the years, I've uh, also used a little bacon, uh, some diced up bacon in there uh, to complement the fat, uh, which in this case is the butter. If you're looking for maybe not so much uh, fat, you can also use a little bit of uh, vegetable oil, olive oil as a fat um, instead of that butter. But as I said, this is important that we get a nice flavor. So we're gonna crank that up and let that brown. All right, now we're going to slowly add our flour. Now, again, typically um, when we're making a roux, which in this case we're making a roux that has carrots, celery, and onions, uh, we're using equal parts of fat and flour. You know, in the recipe, as I said, it's called three ounces and three ounces. But I will, uh, I will tell you, look what's going on in the pot, okay? The idea is to try to absorb all that fat, turn the heat down a little bit, you know, and... I have a little bit more than three ounces of, of flour in here, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that um, we absorb all the fat. Okay, now I'm going to crank it up just a little bit because I want it to deglaze. And when I say deglaze, what I'm trying to do is loosen up all of the flavor uh, that may be kind of stuck to the bottom of the saucepan. Okay, I'm going to add the rest of it now because we've loosened up all of the food flavor particles. And again, um, I am not putting in, you know, the five pints of um, stock just yet. What I'm going to do now is let this come to a temperature, let it simmer for a while, and I'll look at the consistency of the thickness. Um, you know, a key thing to remember, if you're making a brown sauce for future use, uh, you know, this is, you can make it and freeze it, um, but if you're not going to use it right away, keep it a little bit on the thinner side um, because as it refrigerates and cools down, uh, you pull it out the next day to use or, or you know, a couple days later, you're going to find that it actually will thicken up. So this is the consistency. Again, it's a little heavier than um, uh, cream maybe. Uh, coats the back of a spoon. That's kind of what we look for when we're teaching uh, people how to cook. But that is our brown sauce, also known as Espanol. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and were able to pick up some notes so that next time you make the brown sauce, um, you'll have some good ideas of what to look for. Well, thanks for joining us today at LearnToCook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you.